Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome along to day six. It's finals night of the CIB PSA World Tour Finals 2022-2023. Good evening, Cairo. Hello. <laughs> Uh, we are all set. We've whittled it down to the top four players in the world, the top two women we'll see in action first, and the top two men. A reminder that this evening's format in the finals is a best of five match uh, between the players. You'll see three power plays allowed per player. There are four reviews allowed per player, and sudden death will apply for four uh, of the first four games. So um, those are a few of the tweaks and changes that you might need to keep an eye out for there. Uh, if we could ask you please to take your seats. The players are ready. Let's see, first of all, who is in the women's final. Please welcome onto the glass court the world number three representing Egypt, Hanir El Hamami. And tonight she goes up against the number one seed, the world number one, also representing Egypt, it's the Terminator, Nuran Doha! CIB PSA World Tour Finals final for the 2022-23 season in the women's. It's Hanya El Hamami, former champion of this event, world number three from Egypt, taking on her compatriot, the current world number one and number one seed, Nuron Gohar. El Hamami first winning this World Tour Finals back in September 2020. She was just 20 years of age then. Those PSA World Tour titles that she's clocked up, the majors for her being the World Tour Finals, also Hong Kong, the Egyptian Open, as I said, the Egyptian Open held just by the main pyramids of Giza, a couple of hundred yards away. It's a, a beyond spectacular setting. And she is desperate to become world number one. She's part of this triumvirate with Noor El Shabini, the defending world champion. She's got seven world champions, championships, as you saw, losing out to Goha last night. But the big three are taking this game to a different planet. Goha going into her British Open final back in 2016 when she was still playing the juniors, can you believe it? Up against Norel Shabini there, she was still 18 years of age. Very close to 75% win rate and has finished this season so strongly, has managed to get past this mental block of losing out in the last couple of events to Norel Shabini. Cementing herself as world number one, dominating the world number one ranking through nearly all the season. It was just nipped away from her for a couple of weeks by Shabini. Still yet to win a world championship, but won this event back in 2021. Well, Lisa, as we look ahead at the, the past winners, and it is a massive domination in this last phase with the Egyptians. Ranima Walili is the catalyst for these amazing players coming through. Nour El Tayyab also featuring in a final back in 2020. Another great player from this country, Laura Massaro, former world champion, world number one, sneaking those in Dubai, and of course, Nicole David with that track record. It was brought in to align with the men back in 2011. Fantastic to have it all here. And we're going to see probably one of the best finals, I feel, of any of these competitions in past years. I completely agree with you there, Joy. The way that these two bring the best out in one another, the level 
of squash that they're continuing to play. Not only that, they're just raising the bar for years to come. Throw Nur al Shabini into the mix as well. And that bar is sky high. Well, there's uh, Hanya El Hamami's mum. The parents are so heavily invested in, I say their children, she's a young lady now, but um, they come and both the parents are here and you'll see the same for Norel Tired. Man biting his fingernails down there is the former coach, as I said. Omar Abdelaziz, who coached Norongo Ha for such a long period of time since she was a young junior, and they made the swap in the summer period. And I can imagine how that went down in the Goha household, finding out her old coach now time. coaching a bitter rival. I mean, I cannot imagine having that happen to me from a mental point of view the first time that they play, seeing that switch in the coach's corner must have ruffled some feathers in the mental department. But just when you think it couldn't get any blockbuster-esque, they've done a complete switch of coach. Well, the match referee could easily be a stunt double for a red traffic light. John Mazzarella will take charge of this one. And here's VR Ashraf Hussein. So we've got uh, a very experienced specialized unit taking charge of this one. John Mazzarella who comes from a household of uh, three daughters. He's going to have to be on his metal with these warriors out there because they will probably give him a real hard time. Well, he's oh, sure he's used to it. He'll keep this under control, like no tomorrow. Hopefully, he won't have too much work to do, though. Here we go, then, ladies and gentlemen. Get behind your favourite. Two sharing for Nuno. The CIB PSA World Tour Finals, women's final for the 2022-23 season. Hanya El Hamami, the number three seed, take on Nuran Gahar, the number one seed, both from Egypt. 23, women's final match. Nuran Gohar of Egypt to serve. Hania El Hamami of Egypt to receive. Best of five games, love all. And we're in, Lisa, the last women's match of this tremendous season. I'm really intrigued to see how the, the crowd go here. Both these players play for the Wadi Degla Club, which is the biggest kind of sports clubs here in Cairo and in Egypt, I would say. Um, Certainly is. It's so fitting that these two are playing each other out. the last One match love. of the season and in a final. The head-to-heads for this season only between the two is tied at three all, adding an extra exciting element into this. Gohar has had the better of El Hamami this half of the season, taking three wins on the bounce, or the bounce as we call it in Scotland. So much better, I like that. El Hamami, of course, getting that win in the pool match. <laughs> Takes a confidence coming into this Two final. Love. Three love. Well, the hand into the back of Hamami. Go where, nowhere. Go where? Go hard. Nowhere near that one. <laughs> so excited, Joey. <laughs> Down. And out. One three. Well, with the the family camps, I'm surprised there's not a kind of split screen separating them. It can get really rumbustious. Noron Gohar's uncle, he'll be wearing the trademark cap, literally jumps out of his seat like a jack-in-the-box when she scores a big point. We've got Colin in crowd control down there, though. Keep things in line. <laughs> yes, certainly.
Stroke to Rahmami. Yeah, the uh, applause for the stroke. Hand out, 4-1. Terrific pace from both players to the start of this final. Both players really trying to take control of the tee and volley as much as they can, which is exactly why we've seen some traffic issues on that last yeah. rally. Wow, and that's what I'm talking about. There he is, there's the uncle. Out. Two, four. That power and accuracy, it's unplayable. Watch this backhand thumped into the sidewall, and that's just perfect. That's what she was doing so well against Shabini. Whenever she got in front, ramped to up and was accurate like that, gluing the ball to the side wall. There was nothing the Warrior Princess could do. Stroke to Goha. 3 4. Change of pace from Gohar. Yes, lad. Three, four. Very evident softening of the hands there from Naran Gohar as she swapped her power Left. for softness. She's going on about the movement. She nearly pokes her own eyes out there, El Hamami, just showing John Mazzarella. She shrugged, shrugged her off. We see this again. So there, the movement, and there is a bit. The elbow going in, wanting to play the ball. She's made the error, and there, pointing to the eyes. <laughs> She's got a point, though. There was a bit of a, a double shuffle in that middle area of the court. It's a great shot, lovely recovery, rolling off the back wall. She's moving well, Gohan, that's really important for her. Hani El Hamami, of course, never has a bad movement date. One of the best, no, the best, excuse me, best, best, bestest. Simply mover. the best. You, you said it. Five, four. Best mover in the men's and the women's game. Completely agree. <laughs> what, a, what a reaction by the leopard. Five all. When El Hamami can get the perfect balance between her focus and her aggression, it's simply beautiful. Not becoming too overly aroused. Particularly with the best of five as well. 
it's got to be a little bit more kind of balance to that rocketing around and also outbursts because it can be draining if this match goes on for 90 minutes plus which we've seen in the past and that's just for us <laughs> Whoa, that is monstrous from the Terminator, ripping that one in. I mean, this is already six five. top quality stuff, Lisa. I mean, look at this. That is a ripper. I'd have that for breakfast, lunch and dinner all day. Confidence boosting. They both look confident. They're playing well at the same time, which is what we're getting here. It's going to be a treat. Really enjoying the combination that Gohar's got going just now with the pace. Being very wise about when she's slowing down and lifting. Pick up was good. Pick up was good. Well, that's the second time in this first game that Hamami has wrong footed Gohar in the front of the court Hand with out. the flip. Six all. Oh dear. Just get back up and get on with it. I mean, it's just superb. Seven, six. Oh, she's been hit in the calf there, or in the Achilles. Let's have a look at this, where she the impact was. Gohar hit the deck, she's got back up. Well, it's the poor width here from Gohar yeah, onto the Gohar. volley. Oh, just be yeah. careful right there. Into the right calf. It again. Yeah, You're it's... just a little bit too aggressive going there. Oh, I can feel like a bullet, you know. Yeah, it's it, it, you service, see that a lot in squash. Service, please. You know, it's it is unintentional, and it's just the awkwardness of the as the knees kicking through straight into the belly of the calf muscle. The problem you get, you get the bruising in, but you've got to keep keep it warm because it starts to stiffen up. And that if that happens, there's not much you can do. Yeah, back. Oh, that is hardcore, hardcore. Yeah. Blood flow is crucial here. Seven, six. The calf of Hamami. We're talking of blows. Yeah, First like... the blow to the calf and now <laughs> to the dress of Hamami. It's picking up, isn't it? We're uh, 333 feet above sea level here at the Sonic Complex. Eight six. Tend to get that also at the pyramids, which is a lot higher. The evenings, the wind picks up in Cairo. Yes, lad. Yeah, there was. There was a little bit of contact there. The Eight, six. Okay. Yes, right side. That's a beautiful way of shot from Gohar. I think everyone said that at home. In sync. This accuracy from both is stupendous. Yes, lad. The desire to take the ball early. Eight, six, right. Yes, go on quickly, thank you. Yeah.
Pardon? No, and you need a little bit more effort to clear it as well. Not quite. Eight six. Six in this opening first game. Hamami just edging ahead. Both players playing terrific quality. Not a power play in sight yet, but we didn't expect it. Down. The error. The three-point gap now for Hamami. Nine and six. The power play oh, he's uh, right on cue. Power play. Next rally. Is worth two points. For that Hamami. sixth sense that Nine you six. possess Game in abundance ball. coming to fruition. And we are powering up. We're loaded. Bell Hamami takes this. She takes the first game. Put your seatbelt on, folks. Yes, let's. Ooh. Player review. review. She wants to play it. Go She's on. looking for a stroke. Yes, let. Decision. Let's have a look at this one now as we go to the VR. Ashraf Hussain. Skyview camera. This is probably the clearer angle. Is she? It's a bit of. And see what John Mazzarella has gone for a let ball because she's trying to get out. She's trying to get out. There's a bit of kind of traffic issue. If it's a bit of both, it's a let ball. If he perceives it as a bit of both, which he has done, and it's been confirmed as that. Yes, let. Decision upheld. Goha has three reviews remaining. 9 6. Game ball. Oh, we're still loaded with the power play. It's still active. Good recovery from Goha. Oh. Oh. oh, she's got it. She's got it again. Good reset. Longest rally of the match so far. Oh, she's hit the oh. tin. She's hit the tin. That angle is a shot that Hamami Seven, loves to take nine. on. Opening up the so forehand Hamami in the middle of the court often plays the drop plays into front remaining. right. And she's lost the chance of converting that first game, shaking the head. Didn't quite get the position she needed. Usually she cushions that drop in front right. Pressure of the power play. Yes, let. It's interesting the psychology Seven, of nine. because the intensity goes up when you go for the power play and when you lose it. I'm just looking at the body language of El Hamami. There's a little bit of a flat line and she's got to regroup quickly, talking to herself, getting herself back up for this. Psychologically, it does play tricks on you. Not that I've been able to do the power play yet. I will be experimenting at some point. I'm sure we'll have a go at it. I fortunately got a chance in New Zealand at the Nations Cup and it 
kind of, if you lose your power play, it does feel like you've missed a chance at an open goal. It's brutal. Oh, it's a whiff. And that oh. is in the net. Oh, oh, oh. There's the, the fox-like scream from El Hamami. 10-7. Resonates Game around ball. the Sodic complex. Power play next rally is worth two points for Goha. And it's now the Terminator's turn 10, to Game ball. have a go at two points with her power play. Three game balls for El Hamami. Gohar feeling this first game is crucial in this best of five. I'm sure both players will come up with a tactical Down. in the tin. Oh, that's brilliant. That is immaculate. 9 10. The ball Game control ball. and accurate Gohar hitting has two power plays from Gohar remaining. has been second to none. And she's got the two points. The difference between that three-point cushion and this is tense. She didn't want to load up and go for a second. Great recovery from Gohart. Down. And that error! To a position that you just would not have thought. She's hit the tin again. She's absolutely fuming, and she should be. Two crucial errors at the back end of this Ten first all. game, and it's been Goha's movement coupled game with her accuracy ball. that's got herself into this position. She's moving tremendously well and lobbing out of that back. The feet are going like the clappers. Sudden death, Joy. Oh. Live by the sword, die by the sword, Lisa. You can't write it again. Ten, the game to Hamami. The lucky bounce off the back wall. One game to love. The gods are looking down on El Hamami after those two tins. Look at this. She gets the slightly fortunate bounce. It's so rare the ball actually goes in the corner of the, the back wall and the side wall to get that. What a time to get that. What a time to get that. Well, the, all eyes now on Naronga Ha once again as Haitham Effat, former coach of El Hamami, talks to his new charge here in Cairo. 21 minutes, monumental squash of the highest order. It's been brilliant with these two, and it's El Hamami that leads one game to love. What a way to lose that first game, and she's got to regroup, Lisa. Well, this first game had absolutely everything, bringing in the power play, adding extra excitement. Both players using magnificent, fast, ferocious pace, but not only that, accuracy, and both of these players moving phenomenally well. The back end, business end of the game, it was Hamami that had the gaff always, two points, three points, and then getting the 10-7 game ball. Gohar then coming in with the power play, Sneaking right back in there, but El Hamami gets a wee dinky do in the back left hand corner and she's taken the first game. Looking at the run of points here, you can just see Hamami leading that back end 6 5, again 9 6, 10 7. She looked to be pretty clear, but the power play coming on and really adding the pressure. Fair play to Gohar, she really did well as she did last night against Shabini. Fight until the bitter end. A bit of luck there. Here we go into the second game. Literally nothing between them. Could you Before take your seats, please? 
Burel Hamami after some rash tins. Love all. The crowd just do not know where to sit. There's nothing, there's no seats available. They're trying to double up. Poor old John Mazzarella. Needs to get him a couple of extra cushions just to boost him up again. Please, please, could you sit down, please? The beauty about John when he's out in these parts of the world is he does stand out brilliantly. OK, I think we're ready to go. Love all. A wonderful red glow. The players can track him in. And he's doing a great job here so far. And we're into the second game. El Hamami with that first game. Well, mentally, the toll that would have taken on Gohar ending the first game like that when she'd done so well to come back in. One so, so important now that she regroups, puts that behind her. Straight kills from both players tonight have been phenomenal, particularly Nirongo Hart. It's well read from Hamami across the middle. Another straight kill goes in. No let. With the no let being given, John Mazzarella feeling Gohar was through Too to low. play this and should have done so. Down. Well, she's gone for the straight kill again off return of serve this Three time. Love. Margin just too fine. It's a shot that's been working well for her at Gohart. Hamami having to scramble down into the ground and hit up on it, giving Gohart another opportunity to attack. No let. I had a feeling that Play was going to be a decision. The mammy on the no Looked let. Looked like she was through here, Joey. Yeah, just looking at her there, she's holding her hip as she bangs through. I have to say, with her mammy, she's a player that does look to try and get to the ball as regularly as possible. Just been knocked there by the hip, right hip, been clunked. Seeing the movement there, she just catches her leg. And it's been upheld. No let, the decision upheld. Amami has three reviews remaining. Should be fuming with that. Hand out, one three. Should be fuming with that, and what she will do is uh, <laughs> hide the that, pretending to smile. Looking very, very edgy. Yes, let. <laughs> one three. Slightly wild off the cross court. Return of serve, gets away with it slightly there. Well, she's clipped her on the backswing there. Yeah, stroke to her mammy. So stroke being given close. the swing completely prevented close. from playing the shot. And this is a brilliant lead here for her mammy. Fantastic out, start to the one. second game. Yeah, it was on the downswing. Shot completely impeded. It's the right decision. It's losing a little bit of formation here, Gohar. She's got to be careful throwing these balls in like this when El Hamami is so high off on the tee. The length of Gohar. Oh, my word! Sorry. Sorry. Well, I was just about to say the oh. length of Gohar completely dissipated, but she doesn't even need it. 2-4. Talk about letting it rip, Lisa. Look at this. Bang. <sighs> the 
defending really well, go hard. Oh, another clip. It's going to be a stroke. Shoulder to shoulder. Again, El Hamami not flinching. A Narongo hard downswing can be pretty Three, severe. Four. She got her right on the shoulder blade. Just doesn't flinch. Probably didn't feel it. Hard as nails, both of these players. Tell you what else is hard as nails, Joy. This front wall it has to be the power that's going into it. I know, I don't know how it withstands this continuous barrage. Down. They're locked in again, that early lead extinguished from El Hamami. She makes an error and it's Gohar. And this has been quite apparent from Gohar Four in more all. recent times. The lack of panic when she goes down, she regroups really well. She did that so well against Shabini last night. It's been the theme Stroke of the week for Gohar when to, whenever she's been down. Yeah, you're in the direct line to the ball. Hand out, 5-4. Hand out, 5-4. from Hamami. Hand out, five ball. The courage that she had to go for a shot like this in the position, Gohar in front, Hani at the back of the service box, risky business. She went for it, the cross-court net attempt. Hamami just pointing to her head. And out. 6-5. Slightly over-egged it. She does love to wallop it in the net. We've seen what she can do on both backhand and forehand. Just slight movement through that one, clipping the top of the tin by the finest of margins. Do you know Hanging what? in the balance. Sorry, Joey. Do you know what I've noticed throughout the week watching these play? That, so the players to the right of the court and the left, there's a big screen of the live action and every single time they lose a the rally, the receiver will then watch the screen back. Yeah, that's it. That, yeah, it's on the right. Stroke it's interesting Gohar. point, that one. They certainly wouldn't want to. I would be shunning away from it. I would definitely and not be looking at that. Six all. But quite often, they'll just take a wee glance at the rally before. Personally, I feel like that would throw my concentration out the window small amount of it I have. Well, the way they're going at this, I mean, there's no rest at all. I mean, it's literally straight in again, and Goha thunders. Seven, six. A backhand volley straight. Look at that, cutting the ball into the side wall with such power, ferocity. She's back in the game. Seven, six. We're starting to head to a very fascinating finale to this second. You can hear the racket from both players on the side wall showing Down. the tightness. Hand out, 7 all. It's definitely, she's uptight, Goha, but it's definitely a little bit more relax, relaxation in her demeanour, just slightly. 
compared to what I've seen in the past. Which does look back to the entourage, but it's not in that kind of stunned fashion that we've seen some of the events. She might even be enjoying this match. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see at the end. Yes, Lert. Play a review. Re a review goes Money. up here, Lisa. Let's have a look yes, at this, let. because, I mean, again, the line, you'd be looking to try and go through your opponent on this one. So I feel when you play this type of shot, for Gohar to go back round, certainly not in front. So for me, it's... It's her T position, isn't it? So Gohar's chosen to take a very, very central T position here, even slightly to the left. Yeah. So should she actually have hovered to the further back a bit? It's a risky shot to play when you're standing in the same corner that you play into. You do need to give clear access, so I think this will probably be upheld. And it is. Yes, let decision upheld. Hamami has two reviews remaining. Seven all, sufficiently in the way, and she would have reached the ball. She certainly would have reached the ball, that's for sure. No power plays been used yet. Every time you say that, it comes in the next rally. Well, I said it quietly in case Gina Kennedy was listening. Again, another good recovery from Goha. The lifting out the front has been of the highest order. Stroke to her mummy. Yeah, you're in the way of us. You no, you're in the way of the swing. Sorry. I have okay, 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 okay. Miss Gohar has a blood injury, which, which she has time to repair because it well, is... Oh, the follow through, just clunking yeah, the nose of Gohar. She's me, furious that... as she hits this shot. Yeah, I don't blame her. I mean, that, it's quite a weird... I mean, that's quite extraordinary. The actual trajectory of the racket. Oh, Ooh, that is... Oh, straight in the nose. I mean, that was right on the nose. It missed the teeth. Is it on the bit of... I mean, that was a fair old impact, that one. Wow. It looks like she's got her in the teeth slightly as well. Not intentional by El Hamami, just swinging through, but the awkwardness of it, because it was like the side of the frame. So sometimes that happens and you get the strings that can go across and, and leave quite a kind of compromising, kind of waffle-like mark. But she actually had... The frame directly on the nose and the top of the lip. It's not much Derek Ryan can do. He's got a, an unbelievable rucksack on him. And I'm not sure he can do much there. You know, there doesn't seem to be blood. It's just a bit of a shock, I would say. I mean, she played a shot. She didn't hit the deck. She wanted to play a shot. I think she was trying to actually get revanche. Well, we've had a situation like this between these two before where Gohar was on the receiving end of a wallop and it really seemed to put her in her shell. Confidence just wasn't there when she came out of it. But I think this is different. We're going to see a response. She's absolutely fuming here. Miss Gohar has time to... She's coming back on. Yes, this is the impact. So oh! oh! It's when you see it from the sky view. Here. The sky view camera really shows it. Oh, <laughs> goodness gracious me. I'll tell you what, she won't be blowing her nose for a while. I don't think... Too close. We won't no, be replaying yeah, that again. You were too, close. too graphic. So just to add insult to Indra, I feel that has El Hamami been given the stroke? Just see, just need to double check.
Well, the double blow, first on the nose and then on the Joseph scoreboard. Hamami, left side, eight, seven. El Hamami being rewarded the point. People thinking, what is this sport where you get rewarded for whacking your opponent? Down. And that's the unsettling. Nine, that's the unsettling. Seven. Power play next rally. She's up against this now. El Hamami's called the power play. Nine seven. Game ball. Well, this is a real mental test for Gohar here. She is having to deal with it all. The nosebleed, the stroke, and now a power play. This is a game ball opportunity now for El Hamami. That's brilliant. No That's really clever. The way she played this was unbelievable. The improvisation, she's quite mechanical. And then the way she quickly took this. Eight, nine, Amami. Oh, that That's was... One power play remaining. Really did improvise with the swing there to whip that still straight and clinging and accurate. It was very impressive stuff. Power play. Eradicated by the Terminator. Looked straight a bit, kill. Yeah, that looked. You think it was a double? I don't know. I, I don't like to bet against El Hamami because she gets so much back. It wasn't a hand that went up. Usually Gohar would appeal. It's a great shot. Stays in by Whisker. She's done it again. Read it. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Oh, oh that is wicked. <laughs> what a rally, though, Lisa. The quality to the back of the Nine court, the variations. Left. And she's powering Power up. The Terminator's got the red beam on. Two points for Gohar. Nine all. Game ball. She's powering up. She wins this, she takes the second game. Nine all. El Hamami not going with her, electing to not use it. Another no. one! She oh, smashed it in the bottom of the tin! 11 9. Game to go. Go half flies off the all. court with a bloodied nose and probably a wonky tooth. <laughs> oh, I'm so invested in this. We knew it was going to be a ripper, and it has been. An outrageous final, and we're not even halfway through. 42 minutes, and it's all level at one game all. What a regrouping there from Narongo Hart to reply to that first game lead. Well, I said in the first game that it had everything, and this had everything and more. Hani El Hamami again getting a, a decent lead. The back end of the game just had the clipping of the lip tooth mouth area, which saw Gohar have to come off court, get some treatment, then come back on, regroup very quickly, point awarded against her, and then the power play and she's just done what she's done all week, fought back so hard and got the reward for it.
Interesting seeing Haitha Mepha. He's, he's trying, he's like he's got like this barrier where he just doesn't want to get Play too close. Play with his human I mean, look at that run at the seconds. end. Again, Hamami with the lead at the business business end and Gohar saying, no, I'm coming. You're not getting away with this. Fifteen seconds on court, please. Here we go. Round three. Could you take your seats, please? Could you take your seats? Thank you. It's starting to really ramp up now, the quality of this women's final. When you consider all. it's been such a brutal 2022-23 season, they're saving the best till last. One game apiece. I can't hear. I'm going to just announce that now. So yes. John Mazzarella yes. just rechecking the reviews. One game all, go hard to serve. Both players have one power play remaining. Both players, one remaining. Love all. You have one each of no reviews. No. Well, as we go into the best of five format, we've been best of three all through the week. So just double checking the reviews, it's fair enough. Just wanting to set themselves. And Hamami has two reviews remaining, and Goha has three. Okay. Yeah, okay. Goha happy with Love that. All. Just checking with El Hamami that she hasn't got as many. Nodding the head, thing, thinking, well, at least I've got the one up, one upmanship on that one. So three reviews for Goha, two for El Hamami, and one power play each, Lisa. Edge of the seat stuff, Joy. Just so impressed how Gohar deals with any kind of adversity, whether it be a deficit, a clunking. Stroke to her mummy. That ability to just switch the focus, knuckle down and make the next Hand point out, really count. Love. Not being particularly convinced by El Hamami at the back end of the back end of the games, obviously taking the first game with that very lucky bounce and the sudden death. Yeah, between the two, Gohart has certainly had a little bit more of that consistency. Yes, lad. It's not a stroke. She was really yeah, she, desperate no, to search likely. out El Hamami with a swing. She's got to be a bit careful, Goha. There has been times in the past events where she's been no letted. One love. Yeah. OK. Can't believe there's even more people. They're trying to find seats. Look at the sofas there. There's nearly seven or eight people on those sofas. They're only meant to be for two. One love. Oh, didn't read that in time. Couldn't get her feet organised quick enough. Go hard. Too low. Another start where Hania El Hamami is taking the points. She's definitely playing the start of the games much better than the back end.
but she's got it. There's a wry smile. Three low. From El Hamami, slightly missed time down the middle. I right. mean, there's nothing worse when your opponent's smiling at you like that. She got past a bit of interference, and I think that also contributed to why she's smiling so much. Just making this moment right here before she serves last as long as possible to make Gohar uncomfortable. It's nothing worse than being hit with the ball. <laughs> it's rare that a player will choose to hit a ball down the middle, but it is a good one if it pays off. Oh, she always goes for that open cross yeah. court. She never plays it back down the backhand wall. It's risky. For everyone. Down. And out. It's not it again. Three. She's started to open the door, surging to that lead. The error goes in, kind of slightly unnecessary. This is that one. Oh, by a whisker. down the middle that we we're just speaking about <gasps> oh. should, should, should be a video referee decision on Gohar's appeal. Well, she looks a bit stunned that uh, Al Hanami went down service, like that. Please. No, no comments. We're going to look at it. She's sort of trying to say to John Mazzarella not to encourage this. Not sure what John's been encouraging. I don't think he wants that. Yeah. He's been encouraging sunbathing by the looks of it. Oh, well, she just actually yeah. tripped on her own left foot there. Yeah, I don't think she was severely pushed as much as this shows there. No, 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 no. It's a roll of the ankle. I'm looking at the left ankle of no, Hamani. I was, I was... Michael's got his yellow cards out, booking her for diving. Yeah. She just lost the balance and then was okay, we've, uh, slightly... We've had a look at the situation. Miss, Miss Gohar, you've gone ag aggressively to your opponent when it wasn't necessary. That is a conduct stroke. Oh, no. I... I, I, I... Wow, I you don't necessarily think... Please, I'm watching it. It, it looked worse you than what it was. Yeah, it's one of those, isn't it, Joey? No, I, no, I've explained. I've explained there wasn't what has been seen. There was a lot of force put um, in from Gohar. It was more just the stumbling of the left foot from Hamami. No, no end of conversation. There's no further discussion. OK. And out 4-1. Oh, she's a little bit hard done by there, I feel. The wrong go ha. El Hamami standing her ground in so many different occasions. I felt just kind of slightly went down a bit too hard. Too easily, maybe. I don't want to say, I don't want to coming after me afterwards. It wasn't too easily. It's more that she's just tripped on her own left foot. 4 1. You got my bat, Lisa. I think. I'm not protecting you for the, from the Hamamis. Michael Will. The lead by Gohar. Sorry, Hamami won't be discouraged. Won't discourage Gohar, given this has pretty much been the situation in both games. Well, Still wild boast Hamami. from Hamami, followed by the wild straight kill attempt from Gohar. Five-one. I have noticed that on the forehand side, when both players have had a quite an easy-ish opening. They've often caught the side wall on that forehand side and stitched themselves up. This is a really big test now for Gohart. 
They've been neck and neck with each other. Leads have been clawed back. It's gone all the way to the wire in each of the first two games. The finale, when it's a four-point lead for El Hamami. She's had a conduct stroke against her. Feel a bit harsh. She's had a good unintentional wallop to her nose. Down. Six, one. Troubled camp of Gohar. Some encouragement coming from the uncle, as usual. No let. Player with you, Hamami, and the no oh, let. Hamami giving John Mazzarella two bows in a row, but in disbelief, not respect, I feel. Well, the movement there, I mean, she can't get through. She has been double checked. There's been a massive double check there. A bit harsh, yeah, I mean, she's... Unless they're trying to say, well, she's clearing up to the tee, you've got to go behind her, but... Yes, the left ball's decision gone in, overruled. so good review the there. has two reviews remaining, By the left six, one. Miss Goher, you were hindering her line to the ball there. You've got to give her access. I think John meant Miss Goher. Six, one. Can't put the ball in the middle like that, Lisa. She's looking back again, but the ball was and out. there Two to be six. walloped. Down. Is she starting to open the door again? Three, six. Starting to approach the hour mark now. This women's final. El Hamami throwing everything at Goha. She's resetting rallies well, though, the Terminator. She's on the charge. This is real cat and mouse, isn't it, with the front wall? The quality is incredible. Both players hunting that straight kill option. Front left, in terms of attacks, been utilised the most. Rather than this forehand side, both players seem to be clipping the wall a lot more. Down. And errors are coming on this side. Hania El Hamami cannot sustain her lead and push on into the business end. Gohar just keeps coming back. 4 6, quickly, please. <laughs> it's, it's really living up to a nickname. 
Ron Gahart. Do see this with El Hamami sometimes. She likes to break the play when her opponents starting to particularly Gohar making the the comeback just to try and have a reset and knock her out of kilter with the rhythm. Heart. Court service just quickly at the back of the court. With the amount of play being in this back left, I can you imagine there's a fair few the sweat droplets you, on this glass floor. Yeah, it's been a sorry, Lisa. It's been a tremendous surface. We've been saying this all week. Brought in back end of last year for these warmer conditions, and uh, it's been a great surface. The top level squash. And out seven four. Seven. Well, what a split crowd. You can hear the shouts of come on, Noor, come on, Hanya. Oh, that's a great well, shot. Not out. She cut the ball in two, really backed herself, and she's gaining. Six, seven. She's gaining back on the leopard. She's looking good physically as well. There's bounce in her step. Well, that has been a big injection in pace in this rally from Gohart. It's exactly what she did against Shabini when she was down. Just cranked up yes, the power button. Six, seven. Gohar looking for the stroke there. Gohar looks to be in hunting mode. Definitely taking a step higher up in the court. That's tight. Oh, and she's done her in on that straight volley. Talking about T position, hamami has gotten that spot on. She held her ground, stayed strong, eight, six. cut this Quickly, forehand please, off. Continue. Yeah, no, 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 go just a bit off to the left. I want you to go a bit faster. No, no, come on. Eight, six. Eight, six. Well, John Mazzarella being ruthless, telling them to play faster. I'm not sure his eyes could keep up if they did. Just to reiterate, both players have one power play left each. Stroke to go hard. The crowd loving that one. Hand out. 7-8. Oh, she's really laid a racket back. I feel like that was the same situation we had about three rallies ago and he, the let was given. Yeah, she laid a racket back. It's a bit cute, that, from Gohart. And she's won at that one. She's drawn level. Smash that one out of the park. Over. 
Well, we are seeing a Eight big all. pattern here from Gohart. That was a, a very and out. clever angle. Nine eight. I mean, it was played quite nonchalantly. It was awkward. Look, I mean, what a shot selection to play inside out. <laughs> angle always running away from Gohart. Talking of cute. No power play has been used in this third game. Every time she grabs her mouth, every time she did it in the first game when she had opportunities for what we call a shutout. Nine all. And she shut it in the tin. Well, Hani Al Hamami having, I feel, confidence issues in the back end of these games. She looks out the back to her team. Well, he can't play it. A coach can't get on there and play those positions for her. She's got to do it. Oh, she would chop him anyway. <laughs> it's true. One all, nine all. Oh, oh that's oh. perfect. <laughs> what a shot. And out. 10-9. I think Gohar's ball. Gohar's powering up. Power play next rally. Oh, you did it. Yeah, she's gone for, for it. Gohar Go has brought in her last power play. Game ball. Very excited. Is it right, sir? Game ball, game ball. Game on. It's hand out. Whatever happens in this rally, it's going to conclude the third game in this women's final. Game ball. She's won at the tin. 11 9, game two. Her mommy. She's won at the tin. Her mommy leads. On the forehand volley. Two games to one. She's given a monstrous gift to Haniel Hamami. So. Well, she's signalling about something. Don't know if she's saying there's two coaches going. I'm not sure. I think Gohar is asking for a new ball. Yeah, she's asking for a new ball. Hanya El Hamam. Yeah. Just one minute. We're just going to have a look at it on cam. On the oh, screen. interestingly, so Hanya El Hamami is animated because what she's saying is that Gohar stepped out of the court. The coaches signaled to her when she was out of the court to ask for a new ball. Now, the ruling is directly after the end of the third game, when you're on court, you need to signify to the referee there and then. She didn't. 67 minutes in this rocket fuel final between these two titans of the women's game. And it's El Hamami that leads two games to one. Well, another game and another situation where Al Hamami was leading. Fantastic start, fantastic middle, and nearly a bad ending.
Narango hard down again for most of it and just clawing her way back, ramping up with the pace that she's done all week when she's needed to, when she's been down. Body language has stayed positive, her T position has stayed positive and her hitting has been tremendous. Going all the way to the wire again, using the power play, smacking the tin and giving Hamami the third game. Well, all the commotion there at the front of the court, the Minister of Sport has arrived. He always comes to these events, loves his squash. So taking central position on the front row. Ball. So we won't be changing the ball. Continuing with the old ball. Smug look from Hamami, but rightly so. She clocked that. Well, as we start leads. this fourth game, all that drama afterwards. Two games. About the ball. There's the Minister of Sport. To one. Hamami Easy for to me serve. to say. He's looking immaculate as ever. Hamami Stunt has double one with power Nidru. play remaining. Goha has no power plays remaining. Supporting Love all. these events, always there. Loves it, particularly when... Egyptian players are playing, which she's got three in tonight's finals. And it's El Hamami leading. So all that commotion about the ball. Down. Complete miscue from Gohart. She's had a lot of it. She's love. had a real emotional roller coaster. El Hamami, I mean, she spotted it so quickly about the coaches well, signifying about the new ball. Well, she'll know so well because, of course, he used to coach her. So perhaps that's something that was always in play. And out. One all. Big test now for Naronga Ha, who is the world number one for the foreseeable future. Huge. Yes, let. No, neither play at fault there. Well, the arm being held out slightly. 2 1. Catching El Hamami, you can kind of see the funny side, but she didn't get the impact that uh, Goha got on her nose earlier in the match. Just let. Two one. Pumping the ball into all. space. The clenching of the fish, you will have to unravel that to serve. Left hand wall. 
been utilised the most out of all four corners. Left-hand wall is not a corner. Backhand side in general. Oh, the flick. Didn't quite get it past her, but she did it there. That was slick. I like the way she played that one. Pounced on this ball. 3-2. Timed it beautifully with the move, and that's the one that didn't get past El Hamami. That one did. It's the speed. Speed of the feet and speed of the racket face. 3-2. She held it well, she held it well. 4-2. She's not been able to break her. She has not been able to break her so far. The Terminator now 4-2 in response in this fourth game. It's a great way of shot from Gohar. I like the way she's not opted to use all of her power into it. Gone for accuracy. Down. Well, this is the first time we've Five seen Gohar two. lead in the early part of a game. Can Hamami respond? Or are we going to five? <laughs> Stroke for Hamami. <laughs> And out, 3-5. Yeah, it's unfortunately, she's kind of just tried to slow that ball. It's inaccurate. Not clearing. <laughs> stroke to Goha. Play with you, well, this is Mami, on the stroke decision. Not as clear-cut as what the original decision has been said, I feel. It's gone in as a stroke. El Hamami's appeal's gone straight up here. Now, the ball is quite a bit over, and she's definitely gone and followed El Hamami. Watch, you'll see it here. The ball, it's not a great shot by El Hamami, but the ball... It's an awful shot, but she has definitely followed El Hamami. Yeah, just that last movement off to the right, where the position... Of Gohar, yes, she's gone to the left. Decision overruled. Her mammy has two reviews remaining. 3 5. It was judged you were going more to the opponent than the ball. It's like a magnificent sunset, John Mazzarella, amongst all those people in the crowd. No let. Are you reviewing? OK, OK, just, just, calm, just calm down. I'm just, I'm just collating evidence. Yes, I'm hearing that. Yes, let. I've had further evidence. Yes. Yes, let. Oh, that is a shocker. That is a shocker. It was a dreadful shot by Gohar, but even worse, in the bottom and of the out. tin. What would you put that down Six, to, Lisa? Is three. that nerves or what? It's, it's either nerves or it's second-guessing what she's trying to do with that shot. But we, I've seen that all week from Hamami. I've not been convinced when she's been in positions like that. Easy openings. She's often miscued it, hit the floor first, or hit off the frame of the racket. It's very, very bizarre.
miscue like that, to me, would suggest she's in two minds about what shot to play. That is not a miscue, that's a great shot. And the movement, still very perky from Goha. She's defended so well. Down. And another error from Hamami. And Gohar is extending her lead. 7-3. Look at the footwork, look at the speed. And the feet from Gohar going like the clappers. Forehand short, whether it's up at the front court or deep in the court. She's found the tin, and now and it's Goha who finds the tin. She looks back. 4-7. More of the nervous look. I haven't seen mm. much of that reaction in this match from Goha. We saw it then. Stayed in by a Whisker. Absolutely fuming, Hanyar El Hamami. Hand out, 8-4. It's a pretty substantial lead at this stage now, 8-4, and it's interesting with Goha just taking that bit of extra time, not rushing it. Let, yes, let. She, she looks the karma. Well, she is the Eight, karma. Four. Anya El Hamami getting really, really flustered out there. Goha, her time to have a little bit of a smile. Another wild rally on the forehand side from both players. So often, seeing them clip the ball and end in a traffic issue. Clip the side wall, sorry. And out, 5-8. It's got a little bit scrappy in this last phase. No let. Line to the ball, no let. There was a line to She's the ball. She's going for a review. Play a review, This Goha. could be a wasted and review no from Goha. Decision. Could be a wasted one. Well, I think her whole camp went for a review. Lots of arms up in the air. So the original decision being a no-let, feeling that Go Hart needed to get round and up. No-let, decision upheld. Go Hart has two reviews remaining. Six, eight. Still two reviews for the Terminator. Six, eight. Right Originally side. she was eight, four, you up. You serve from the left, yeah.
getting a lot of joy on this backhand side when she stays straight. Oh. Go hard. Well, that was flat as a pancake. Hand out. He looks very alert. Nine at six. Posting away. Oh, she's got it. Oh. Ten six. Game ball. Left. That's a great get from Gohar there. This is the. Oh, there's definitely a big shutter. Yeah, she holds it Big long enough up. for Hamami to creep up. No, OK. And then it's, it's the almost double done. It is. It's a double shuffle, truffle shuffle going in. She's got four game balls to take this into a fifth and final game. I don't What a defence. Down. She's hit the tin. She's hit the tin. Naranga Hart on the 85th hard. minute. Two games all. And this women's final is drawn level. The momentum is with Gohart. All the way to the wire. Lisa predicted a 3-2, and that's what we've got. Absolutely brilliant. Slightly scrappy in that fourth game, but we are guaranteed a fifth and final. Well, for the first time all match, Narongo Hart leading early doors, creating a deficit for Hamami to catch up. She did close it, but only just a little bit. Gohar dominating most of that game. El Hamami looking a bit rattled. This is heating up. Of course, we're going to five between these two. Both players have one power play remaining as well. Adding to the excitement. Been tremendous defending from Gohar, tremendous attacking as well. Oh, she's going to have to dig deep, she always does, but you can see Omar Abdelaziz on his knees there. Very, very different corners where Haitha Mefat just take a little bit of they extra space. Abdelaziz is a very energetic, passionate character. Well, he looks like he needs to inject some of that into Hamami. She looks deflated. 15 seconds. <laughs> on court, please. Time on court. <laughs> Two games all. Go hard to serve. Each player has one review available. Well, what we are guaranteed, Lisa, whoever wins this fifth game is going to be the CIV PSA Love World all. Tour Finals Champion. <laughs> Do you know what? I didn't think you were clever, but then you said that. You really are. Smart man. Thank you. Never underestimate me.
stroke to her mummy. And out, one love. Stroke to go home. Amazing, isn't it? Two strokes, one each. And out, one First all. First two rallies, two all, one all. Lot of lifting and slowing and softening. Stroke to go hard. Well, three points and couldn't three decisions. In she couldn't go in front. In this fifth game. We've had 33 decisions now, Lisa, in this match so far. Well, we need 10 Two more, on. and that will equal the record of decisions made in one single match between these two. 43 being the most. Which is not normal. No, it's a lot. It's a lot. A lot of down the middle shots being played now, and there's another one, oh, and no. it's a What's she gone for? It's an, in my book, it's a no let. It's so bad, it's good again. Oh, exactly. What, there's, there's no dispute over. Hand out. Over this, it's. To all. She's caught Go Hart. She miscued it, and Go Hart thought it was going to be. She couldn't adjust, and it's hit a knee. There's no way she could play it. So, slightly bamboozled. If that was deliberate, it's very clever. Look at that score, Joy. I know. Very, very tight. Oh! You, you needed to stop. She was in the way, but you needed to stop. What? You tried to go through and play it. Yeah. Let's have a looky here. Yeah. She's trying to get out of it. She's watch it. She's gone through her there, played the ball, whacked and her. Three, two. Oh. oh. That was uh, again Gohar just not what even flinching. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. She accepted you. It's getting very well it's been very, very mm. but it's getting very, mm. very feisty.
Oh, that. that's short. That's very short in yeah. that front right hand corner. That touch, that and little soft nudge all. from Hamami. Just out with the reach of Gohar here. There's been not much that she hasn't been able to get back, but that was soft enough. Yeah, she was on that early El Hamami. She saw it coming, flew past her opponent. To me all. Nobody is making a surge yet. The early stages of this fifth locked in again. One power play remaining each. But no sudden death. Back to the traditional tie break. Considering in those positions she's hit the tin, that's the first one in one of those positions Four, where she's three. got her opponent shut out. She's actually made the front wall left and won the rally. Quickly, please, Miss Gohar. Miss Gohar, you need to go to the towel immediately. Four three. 95 minutes of blistering squash and action packed stuff. Down. Well, oh, Mami shouting out, three. Yalla, once again. Managing to just duck past the swing, and it's the error coming from Gohar. Their longest match so far was only a few weeks ago in El Guna, 107 minutes. 43 decisions. Oh, that's big. She's oh, the the deck. She's recovered. Will John Mazzarella? Stop, stop, yes, stop. Yes, he will. Stop. We need to get oh, that service, call thank you. made safe. It's a great get from El Hamami. Had the players kept the play on the right-hand side of the court, away from the sweat, the rally would have continued. But there because the got... ball was played into the danger area. Yeah, the imprint of Hanya. It's now disappearing. Right side, from Hamami and that is Hand why out. she's the best Four, mover five. in the women's game court service please how on earth did she do that first that one completely pushed out of the way on the deck skidding towards the front left hand corner she's absolutely livid with herself doing all that work That is absolutely ridiculous movement. Sheer athleticism. Yeah. Hand out. Go hard now. Five. Again, closing this gap on the lead that Hamami has. Down. And there we go. Completely leveled off. Go hard. Five all. Looking 
to be nicknamed the fire extinguisher because whenever Hamami's had the lead, she's just brought out the fire extinguisher. Well, 120 minutes is the longest women's match ever. Are we going to go past that tonight? She's collapsed again. She's recovered. Down. Oh! Court Crowd service, loving it. please. Court. Can't believe this ball is held up. It's the original ball. The beginning of the match. Again, another impact. El Hamami, the recovery out of dives is this off the charts. Ninety-nine minutes being played. Six five. Well, Narongahar's husband, who's uh, an Olympic fencer, and he is, uh, he looks like he's commentating. He's going through the ringer. I don't know how she... Stroke to her mummy. That was like something out of the Matrix. That really was like something out of the Matrix. How that ball was able to go past and not hit Gohart. Down the middle. Watch this. And out. The reaction. How does it... I mean, Six honestly, all. that was so close to taking on her back. Well, Lisa, do you think we're going to surpass the 107-minute marathon from Elguna? Yes. <laughs> 100 minutes. 101 minutes now. Keep up with it. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> she's hit her, she's hit her. Yep. No, she's made big contact there. Stoke to go hard. And out, Eight, six. Edging ahead and a power play is coming power in. Play next from rally Hamami. is worth two points for her mammy. El Hamami's gone six. for it. El Hamami's used her one option of the power play to try and draw lever at eight all. Still a power play in hand for Goha. Her mammy will know that if Gohar wins this point, taking her to nine. Using the power play, risky territory. That is a wicked boast. I don't know how she got that out of there. The pace that these two are still playing. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's... She's, she's appealing, she's appealing. Oh, no let. Player review. Oh, we're Mami going to review on, on this no right hand wall. Pardon? 
Desperation. Well, Gohar's trying to say that El Hamami doesn't have a review. She has got a review. She has got a review. Well, John Mazzarella's is the referee, not Naronga Hart, and he says she's got a review. There was an appeal also about a pickup in that mid-court. It looked like you hit the nick. So let's have a look at this one, Lisa. The drama continues. So the no-let goes in. Look at the movement as well. So the movement there coming out. She's hovered over it. She's hovered over that ball. It's enough to not give a necessary a clear line there. There is a slight shuffle. It's subtle, but it, it definitely stands out to me. And considering the movement of El Hamami, a no-let for me is too, is too harsh. Yes, let. It's a good decision. decision. Overruled. What? Well, Gohar wanting to check. It's too late for the pickup. That's too late now. No, no, no. I asked for it at the beginning. No, no I didn't no, see that. I was for her to no, review. no. Her mummy has one review remaining. Eight, six. Well, the power play is still loaded up here. Still active. And loaded. And active. <laughs> her mummy has no. Power play reviews remaining. Stop, stop, just stop. What? No reviews. Yeah. Yeah. The Hamami has still got a power play active because of the yes let on the last rally well thanks for confirming that eight six yeah he's picking up signals again john mazzarella it's amazing when you put him next to the pyramids he hears everything That's tight. No, she did well because she would have been penalised if she didn't play that ball, Goha. Again, it's yes, the... Let. Yes, she's, let. Hurt. she's hanging over a ball here. Play a review. And she's gone in for a view. Goha. It's a silly from Naran. I yes, have to let. say this, Decision. it's risky business, which... You've used that before. Great film, by the way. She's hovered. It's a crouching hovering, and it's enough to take the line out. She did it before. It was given as a let. She's reviewing this there. She's not clearing away and giving the access, and this could be perceived as a stroke against her. Yeah, it's a clearing backwards rather than to the left-hand side towards She's the central position. She's hanging over position. the ball. There's a crouch hover. It's subtle, but it... It knocks the line, and she's got away with it again. Yes, let decision upheld. She's got away with that Gohar again. Gohar has no reviews remaining. Eight, six. You didn't give her sufficient access to the ball, and the power play, uh, Miss Hamami has still one power play active. Still what? active. It's active. It's, it's not burning out this power play, nor is John Mazzarella. He's on absolute fire, literally. No. <laughs> as we approach the finale and we have surpassed eight six their longest match in alguna a few weeks ago we are over 107 minutes now third time lucky fifth longest match of all time in the women's game on the psa world tour 
And if you didn't know, the power play is still active. Down. It's not now. The power play is now inactive. And Gohar takes one more Nine, step. Six. She's got a power play in hand. She's got to use it, Joey. She's got to play it, and she's not using she's it. She's forgot. I can't believe it. She... I can't believe this. She's forgot. She's got one. This is... I... I'm speechless. 9-6. She can't use it at 10, because we can't go to 12. Unless it's a tie break. Video referee decision. He's gone VR, oh, John Mazzarella. He's gone straight to Ashraf Hussein to look at this one. She, she didn't. There was another nudge. El Hamami goes past here. There's a bit of a nudge there, and then she's in for the stroke. She's not cleared a ball. This is where there's a bit of a nudge impact, knocked her off, and then there is a clear stroke. Will they look at the previous nudge? So there, you see the movement there. It's previous to that. I don't know if they're seeing what we would see here, that, which is knocked her off, and then obviously that one is a stroke. But what will they take into consideration here, Lisa? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's the previous movement that knocks her off balance. Taking a good look at it, though. Look, that. Suggests, see it there. Yeah, I can see it crystal clear. The duration that they're taking. No let. Not. Oh, wow. Oh, Joey. Well. No let because you are going to the opponent and making no effort to go to the ball. Well, that's staggering. So what we saw is that first move and that she wasn't penalised for. 7-9. And then, unfortunately, it was... There's no way of El Hamami clearing that shot. So for me, it was a clear-cut stroke. And this is a big test. Big, big test here for Goha. She's not using her power play again. Well, she doesn't know she's got one. Wow. Well, we're clocking the records up now. It's going down the itinerary. We're now into the second longest women's match of all time on the PSA World Tour. 111 minutes we're at. Yes, let. Yes, like you didn't clear sufficiently. Player review. No, you no, know, she no, you haven't got a review. Yes, let seven nine left side. That's a tremendous shot. Unbelievable, considering her uh, front court game has been pretty rough and ready, to say the least. She hasn't found a Quickly, consistent please, range. This is a shot Quickly. she does love to play, and she's picked the perfect moment to nail it. You're not wrong. Particularly at the business end, Joy, we've seen her continually Eight, pepper the tin. Look at that crowd. 
Well, their energy levels have been extraordinary. They have been cheering away from the first serve, which just seems a millennium ago. Starting to approach two hours for this battle. And that's a shot. What a Call shot service, from Gohar. El Amami throwing herself to try to get it. The shot was way, way too good. And it came out of nowhere, Lisa. Look at that shot. Beautiful shot. You said in the previous rally about Hamami, what a time to play that shot, what a time to play this one. That's a difficult position in the backhand on the back of the service box to get that ball running so low. That's risky business, we've said it before, Joey. We have. Considering and the duration was... of the match, we can get away with saying it a few times. And it's now Gohar with two championship balls in hand. And we're approaching two hours. No let. Well, Lisa's no, hiding no, behind a chair at the moment. just playing the opponent as she's playing. No further discussion. You've got the explanation. You're just going into her as she's playing the ball. Gohar absolutely fuming. Lisa's hiding behind a chair. And out. <laughs> you can't. 9 10, match ball. It continues. A no let. And still a championship ball for Gohar. <laughs> Come out now, Lisa. I'm back. <laughs> this has got to go on Netflix, Joy. <laughs> <laughs> video referee. Whoa! Video referee. Well, Gohar's doing decision that. on Hamami's appeal. Gohar's Goodness gracious me. All eyes on the VR. It's burning. Here we go, let's look at this one. Oh, she's completely corked it. Oh, she's moved into her there as well. There's a big movement, it's a huge movement. So I think the premature celebrations are gonna be premature. She skips around the court. She's moved into it. Watch this now. Bang, 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 gone. It's the movement, Joey. It's a great shot, and she should have let her go through and play it. She's been penalised for this before. That's the loudest yes, cheer I've ever heard in Cairo Nine, for a left ball. Championship it's even ball. surpassed the you cheering for a stroke. To to I can't ball. believe it. It's the right decision, though, isn't it? I Unless agree. they were going to penalise her for a movement, which would have been savage, to have had a stroke against Gohar. She's still got championship ball. <laughs> Three minutes away from two hours. That atmosphere is outrageous. That is a okay, massive let, Gohar chant. Thank you, thank you. Let, let's continue, thank you. Well, welcome to squash, everybody. Well, after 375 bounces from Hamami, we're off. Yes, let. Yes, let. Yeah, it's got to be a let ball. She won't let her through. Yes, let. <laughs> just, this, this match is will end at some point. 
It will end, it has to. 9-10. Match ball. Must have had close to 50 decisions, if not more. Okay, Never heard anything you. like it. The chanting thank you. We, is just off the charts. We must continue, please. Thank you, thank you. There's only one name that they're chanting. And it's not yours, Joy. <laughs> it's hard to work it out. It's one of the girls, definitely. Time to find a drop shot. It was left quite open with her, but that takes beyond minerals to play that. Look at this here. Ten all. Oh my word! A that player must so win much bottle. by two that points. That is the best drop that she's played all match. Thank you. Well, John Mazzarella is just about to pop. It's two all, ten all. We're into a tie break in this fifth and final game. Two championship Thank balls saved. Please, we need to continue. <laughs> He's popping. Please, a little quiet. Thank no sudden you. death. Traditional tie break. 120 minutes has been hit. Two hours. And we are going to be into the longest match in history in the women's game. El Amami working hard to get past again. We have to go to video, surely. Video referee decision on her mammy's We're appeal. I, I've just got to have another look because I don't quite know what happened. <laughs> It's very honest of John Mazzarella. You've got to respect his honesty, Lisa. Just having a look at the impact there. There's obviously something because she stopped. We watch this. There's contact with the shoe. She's just stood on her, on her shoe. The second step of Hamami as she travels to this ball. No lands. Oh my goodness, the no let's go on, it's deemed as minimal. And out, 11-10, match ball, yeah. You can try and say something, yes. Yeah. Please, could, could you allow Miss Hamami to just speak to me? Thank you. John, can you hear me? Yes. My shoe was taken off, I swear, I had to put it in. No. You need to have yeah, but we, we're dealing with that as minimal. Minimal? I yeah. was going to play with no shoe. Come no, on. no, it, we don't see that as the opponent's problem. Well, it'd be and like Cinderella. To ten match ball. <laughs> Trying to find her shoe. She said she had to kind of push her foot back in, and that's deemed as minimal. So in future, you can look, try and take your opponent's shoe and run away with it. Well, the chant goes on, and I, I do feel it's for Noron. 100%. She's I'll got her third championship ball. Is it third time lucky, Lisa? I'm not sure. I mean, anything can happen here. <laughs> he's pretending to smile, but he's in a world of pain. 11-10, championship ball. He's in a world of pain. This has been a roller coaster. And we've made history once again. They're praying for rain.
Oh! It's got to be a let ball. No, no, it's got to be a let ball. Video referee decision. You've got to look at this appeal. from Makar Manor and John Mazzarella, to be fair, has gone into VR, which is understandable. It's another celebration, but for me, premature. How many are we going to see from Goha there? But, Lisa, if we look at this one... It's the movement. Oh, it's definitely a let ball. I mean, this is, you know, we're all caught up in it. It's a let ball. It's a let ball. Of course, it's a let ball. Got, got to be a let. Another imprint of Hamani on the court. Yes, let. 11, I love the 10. way that the let ball has become Match the new ball. stroke here with the crowd in Egypt. I think they're just pleased we get another rally. Quickly, please, quickly. Still championship ball. Thank you, thank you. Let's play, please. And there's the Minister of Sport. He's listening to you, Lisa. Just a big shout out to him. <laughs> <gasps> well, she's doing it again. I mean, she's literally. <laughs> He's got to. <laughs> no, but I mean, no, he has to. It's it just, I mean, right. it's literally. I mean, the bounding round the court. It's like she's gone horse riding. <laughs> it was a good bit of a gallop. You're right. <laughs> we got to see this again. I mean, we're going to have to play the men's final on Monday. Got to look at it from the sky view. The sky view camera, camera number seven. It's known as. Here we go. We select ball. It's got to be a let ball. It's, it's got to be, be another let, let. Surely we've got to go again, and we are. We're in. Well, that's got the biggest of yes, all the yes. lets, that's it. 11-10, match ball. The 470th decision this match. Right side, 11-10, championship ball. So many decisions. How many celebrations right. can she make? She's got to do it again. She's got to do it again. We're back to it again, Lisa. It's like we're frozen in time here. 126 minutes now. And like I said, over at least over 55 decisions. It's too many decisions in this match. <laughs> Video referee decision. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness me! Narongo are absolutely walloping the <laughs> Oh wow. Goodness me. Oh, I've never seen that. I've never seen somebody kick the door like that. Watch this. We gotta what we need to look at this. Oh my word. Bang! Oh, my word, Lisa, I don't know what I, to say I mean, here. I, I, I don't, don't know, know what to one. say. I mean, if this is topped off with a stroke, the crowd, I mean, the it roof, there's no be. roofs, but the windows of all the buildings will smash with the eruption. This has to be a stroke, Joey. But will she get penalised for the battering of the door? It's going to be a level! Oh! It's a level! Yes, let. 11 10. Oh, Match ball. Joey, I mean. Well, the uncle needs to calm down. Quiet, please. Quiet. It's John Mazzarella. Quiet, please. <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> please, can we continue? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Please. Thank you, thank Just, you. What sport do you have the referee right in the middle of the crowd? Only squash, of course. Championship ball once again. I've lost track of how many for Gohart. I reckon we're up to five, maybe six. Thank you, thank you. Five Please, celebrations. Look, look, you're Taking distracting out the, tank. the players now. Please have consideration for the players. Again, a nudge. There's a nudge. Oh. No let. Oh, oh, wow. No let's go in. Player review, her mummy. She's and got a review. No let decision. I mean, Gohar is Where literally. Is she, going? she never stops opening that door. She'd be a nightmare neighbour to live against. Live next to. Keep coming and opening the doors all the time. There's a bit of a nudge there again. The previous. But is the finish too good? Is the finish too good, Lisa? There, oh, a there's a big nudge. Oof. Got to look at the movement here. There, she gets caught by that, and then she backs into her there. But is she meant to go up and around her? Oh. <laughs> She's furious, and she's no review. Oh, the no let! No the no let! Decision upheld. It's been upheld. It's been upheld. 12 10, match to go half. Naronga half can finally celebrate. 10 11. Goodness 11, gracious me. 9 11. Oh 11, my 6, goodness me. What a, 12, what a match. What a match. Cream the Polish <laughs> raising his eyebrows there, just cowering. The tournament promoter. Narongo Hart is going to have to congratulate the whole crowd, which is around about 1,750 people. History's been made, the longest match, so many decisions. You can't say that wasn't dramatic. At one point, Lisa was hiding behind a chair. Congratulations to both players. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed history. Check this out. Oh, my goodness me. 131 minutes, 43 minutes for the fifth game. All the way to a tie break, and it's Gohar that takes her second CIB PSA World Tour Finals Championship. Winning it in 2021, she's now won it in 2023. John Mazzarella, the lone figure, now coming out of his seat. And Gohar's got to be crying, I mean, she's had every emotion. She has gone through the ringer. Well, as the music plays, the festivities, the ball, the trademark match ball being launched into the crowd. Well, Michael's ready. He's been ready for about two hours. Let's hear from Michael and the Terminator down at courtside. Thank you very much, Joey. Yes, I'm here with this year's champion, Nuran Goha. <laughs> oh, this is a magical moment, a magical moment. I know it's emotional for you. Can you summarize it in words? We were on the edge of our seats. Uh, how was that for you guys playing? It was so hard. I mean, uh, so, so hard out there. Uh... I mean, first of all, uh, all credit to Hania. She always gave it a fight, and uh, I mean, if it wasn't her, I don't think we would be able to play matches like this. Uh, uh, a big match is always requires two big players and uh, two fighters, and obviously she, she's won. But I mean, the refs gave me a hell of a time, to be honest. It was so hard at the end, and uh, I don't know what they're watching, but <laughs> it was super hard. Uh, I felt I was playing against them at the end. Yeah, you certainly had to manage your emotions and keep resetting for those big championship ball moments. Um, it's been a, a rocking season for you as well. You finish as world number one. I know you lost it to Nur El Shabini at one stage during the season. Uh, you must be so proud of your personal achievements this season. 
Oh, obviously, uh, this tournament, uh, especially, uh, I think it w it's my first time ever to play uh, to beat Sherbina and Hania back to back. Uh, I mean, these two are uh, obviously uh, top players, and uh, to back up a, a match like yesterday and play like this, I mean, 131. <laughs> I don't know where we're gonna go again. 200 minutes, maybe next time. <laughs> but I mean, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super proud of myself. But first of all, I couldn't have done it without my family and uh, my team here. I mean, they were incredible. I mean, all of them had a heart attack. Uh, and the crowd, you guys have been unbelievable. Like I've never seen some, like people like you, you really pushed me so hard today. So thank you so much. Shukran Bagad. I'll let you enjoy this moment. You are this year's CIB PSA World Tour Champion, Nuran Gohan.